Hi everyone, Dia Miller here to compare DNA test results from three different companies, Ancestry.com, 23andMe, and Family Tree DNA. Now anyone who is familiar with my work, um, if you read my books or you watch my videos, then you know that I mainly concentrate on my Jewish roots. My father was an Ashkenazi Jew and my mother is German. And when I say German, I mean German. Both of my grandparents came over from Germany uh, and my mother's first language was German, okay? So uh, originally I did a DNA test through Ancestry.com and the results showed up as 49% European Jewish. Uh, the German side was all mixed up. I had a little bit of um, a little bit of Western European in there, which was basically the German side, um, and most of the rest of it was just all mixed up. Um, afterwards, Ancestry.com re-evaluated the results. Um, they had done further studies uh, with more samples, and now they were better able to provide um, a better analysis um, than what they originally came up with. So the new analysis is 50% Ashkenazi Jewish, or they call it European Jewish, um, which makes perfect sense because my father was Jewish. So he obviously was not mixed with anything. He was just Jewish. Um, now, uh, the newer results also show that the German side is 34% Germanic Europe and 16% England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. There's an overlap between these two groups, which are also very closely related. It therefore makes a lot of sense. My German side is indeed German, though the Germans, through various wars and migrations, have mixed over the course of history with other Europeans. Then I took a DNA test through 23andMe. And the Jewish results practically mirrored the Jewish results from Ancestry.com. They show 49.5% Ashkenazi. So that makes sense. Now, the European side, uh, it was similar, though it was categorized a little differently as you can see. They have French and German together as one group, some British in there, broadly Northwestern Europe and broadly European, and then a tiny bit of Scandinavian. Then there is 2.2% Southern European, a little bit of Eastern European, and finally, less than 1% total of North African, Arabian, and broadly Western Asian and Northern African, which possibly could be from the time that the Jews were in Egypt. And then uh, a little smidgen of Sub-Saharan African, which could go way, way back. So I feel that the results from Ancestry.com and 23andMe are very similar, and therefore it makes sense. It also makes sense knowing my personal family history. So the third company that I wanna compare is Family Tree DNA. Now this is the one that is very different. The Jewish side, that is pretty much the same showing that my Jewish side is indisputable. Uh, they show 47% Ashkenazi. Now, one of my readers recently said to me that he prefers, or I don't, maybe he didn't say prefers, but he likes um, Family Tree DNA specifically because they list Ashkenazi Jewish under Jewish diaspora instead of under the blanket category of European. Um, so he likes that aspect of it and he makes a good point. However, it's my European side that I have a little bit of a problem with with this company. The European side does not match the results from the other companies. There's no German at all. The closest thing listed is the British Isles, then 22% Southeast Europe, which includes Italy and Greece. This is what I really have to question because the other companies only show a small percentage from this area. 
So that seems off to me, and I feel I have to disregard these results. While the Jewish side is close to the other companies, the categorization excuse me, of my German side is not logical. If this were the only company I ever tried, I would have believed I was Italian and that something was amiss in my family history. One thing that is good about trying different companies is being able to compare and con contrast, but also seeing the DNA matches and being able to find long lost family members. In the future, I will be testing through more companies and will keep you up to date on the findings. If you're interested in finding out more about my ancestry search, uh, DNA results, um, searching for family, etc., then check out my book, Half Jew, Searching for Identity. Um, and I would also recommend that you check out my heart series, which is fiction. Uh, but it deals with the themes of family and ancestry, especially Secrets of the Heart and Holiday of the Heart. Thanks for watching. See you next time.